My name is James Robinson. I'm from Orem, Utah, and I've been coming to Dr. Tong for over 10 years. And when I originally came to Dr. Tong, uh, I came in for irritable bowel issues. And uh, unfortunately, I wasn't having regular bowel movements, and it, it would go on for like two weeks without going to the bathroom. And I came to Dr. Tong, and I was uh, a skeptic. I wasn't sure if I even wanted to do the treatment, and uh, I talked to him for about an hour and then I talked to a few of his other patients and I was still thinking I wasn't going to do it. One of the patients talked me into it and, and I came in, I did the treatment and then in, uh, after the treatment I went home and I took a nap and after the nap uh, ended up going to the men's room and I've been pretty much regular ever since that time. So it was a great, ex yeah, a great experience going to Dr. Tong and it was extremely positive. Uh, since then, I've had what, what Dr. Tong likes to call as his tune-ups, and I've been uh, during the course of that 10 plus years uh, on a regular basis, and it's been a positive experience. Also, in addition to my uh, own treatment, uh, I brought my son in to meet with Dr. Tong, and uh, he was he's a Division One runner for NCAA. He runs uh, cross country and track and field. And when I brought him in for um, to, for Dr. Tong to work on him, he was really struggling to complete his workouts. He was having a difficult time uh, doing his 400 repeats, which is one lap around the track. After Dr. Tong worked on him, just one treatment, and he went back to practice. It was amazing, the results and his accomplishments. Uh, he was in high school, Dr. Tong actually worked on him. He was still in high school. and he was able to be top 10 in our state, and our team uh, was ranked one of the best teams in the nation. As a matter of fact, we, we were ranked number one in the nation at one time. So uh, thanks to Dr. Tong and his treatment, my son was able to have a positive experience from that. In addition uh, to what Dr. Tong was able to do for him, we were very concerned about his growth plates and hormones and all those things because he was a late bloomer. He was you know nearly 17, he looked like a 14 year old. So we took him to all the doctors and and did all the tests and did x-rays and all sorts of things to see what we could do to help him and there really wasn't a lot that they could do or that they didn't feel would be productive helping him and so we decided to bring him to Dr. Tong and he continued to give him treatments and he grew like four inches in one year and so we feel that Dr. Tong's treatments and what he does was very helpful in our son's not only physical, but mental health and his uh, ability to uh, socialize and all those things that come along with being an adolescent, being able to uh, be amongst his peers, if you, if you would. My uh, son uh, was quite short for his age, especially since I'm over six feet tall, my wife is, is taller and so he we thought he should be taller and he, as I mentioned earlier he's quite small and so we went to an endocrinologist a primary children's a very renowned prestigious hospital and uh, they came they didn't come up with any results after getting treatments from Dr. Tong he went from 5'1 and now he's 5'11 so we're very pleased of the results we had here especially when all the other physicians said there was uh, nothing they could do to help him and uh, he's a very handsome, full-size young man, and we're very pleased with those results. He was 5'1 at what age? He was 5'1 at age 16, and now he's 21, and uh, we feel like he's full-grown at 5'1. Excellent. I brought my wife in. Uh, she's quite healthy. She eats well. She exercises She uh, and so forth, and I uh, brought her in for a routine uh, tune up that Dr. Tong likes to call it, and uh, she's been able to maintain good health at all. She didn't have any symptom? Nothing that was too bad. Oh. Um, I have another, I have a friend of mine that I refer to Dr. Tong. He got lost in a uh, snowmobiling uh, trip, and he and another gentleman, and they were lost for three days in the high Uintas in Utah. And uh, whenever you're through an experience like that, the stress is unbelievable. Anyway, he was obviously checked in the hospital for dehydration and so forth and was having a difficult time recovering. And uh, so I brought him, I referred him to Dr. Tong. He came in, 
Dr. Tong uh, sat down with him, gave him a lot of advice and counsel, and gave him several treatments, and he's been able to make a full recovery and, and is doing extremely well. What was his, uh, is that main, main, more main mental or uh, physical his symptom, I forgot? His physical, I think his was more of a physical situation as far as, uh, you know, there's the dehydration, the wear and tear that an experience like that takes on your body. Uh, he's a very disciplined person, so he eats extremely well. And I think uh, eating well and uh, exercising has helped him recover, but the treatments uh, escalated or sped up uh, his own discipline, and I think it helped him uh, to have a full recovery. Actually, he uh, was eating well, but he still had a lot of symptoms. Right. He had a lot of blockage, if, if you want to call it that, and uh, because of, of that experience and he was able to come to Dr. Tan and Dr. Tan opened his channels and, and it made a dramatic difference.